Aligned and relaxed. Take your hands away from your legs if they're resting there and rest them together. Also rest your eyes. You just allow yourself a moment of stilling, of gathering your awareness towards your center. Well, centering is a mental exercise as well as a physical one. And just let the magic of the hands resting into each other help provide a foundation for that stilling. Slow breathing. You swirl the air. Let's try the next inhale through the mouth, through the teeth. Inhale. Exhale, warm air through the nose. Now inhale, nose. Exhale, nose. The constriction makes a little sound. One more time, inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth is down. Tuck down your chin, lengthen the back of your neck, bowing forehead towards the fingertips, letting the brain and heart come closer together. And one more breath. Meet yourself, meet yourself where you are. Release, take your hands to your knees, sit up tall. Take a deep breath in. With an exhale, draw your lowest belly towards your spine. Practice that twice more. Inhale, full expansion. Exhale, contraction towards the center. The ribs all come in and the low belly draws towards the spine. In and up, last one. Try to hold the navel into the spine a little bit as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, reinforce navel towards the spine. And we won't always hold that so firmly, but when we're seated, it supports our spine, our front body. Then lift your head to center, take your right hand across to your left knee, relax the rest of your belly, long and relax, just a little toning down low, come to easy twist, looking back. We're cultivating peace. First with the breath. And as we release tension in our bodies, we bring peace into the body. And then our mind might follow. Breathe out one last time. Come to center, catching both your knees, sit up tall. Gentle is toning into the low belly. And then let your front be long and relaxed as you come around to catch the other knee and look back to us. Three, about five breaths in most of the poses. We challenge ourselves with that steadiness for five breaths. Exhale, once more, and back to center. Of refining your legs if needed, I'm doing some seated cat-cow today. So for cat spine, we'll round, round the low back. Just curl yourself into a forwardness, tuck your chin, and then lift up your head, lead with your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Again, round, just breathe as you go. Squeeze and lift, round, spread the shoulder blades, curl the spine. Extend the spine, squeeze the shoulder blades. 
Bringing breath and movement together. And trying to break free of our conditioned existence, our patterns. Try to notice your patterns. Try to create positive ones. And release back to center, feeling that awakening in the spine. Rock side to side. And find your sitting bones. And then come over to the left side with your hand and come to side bend. And optional, take out your legs. If you like, you can cross that right leg over the left. Let's create a nice side length in your body. Exhale one more time. See about a little more range of motion. And over to the other side, side bend, add that crossover. So kind of like infinity, but not leaving the seat. Create just the right, right amount of reaching in your body. So we feel some work is happening in the poses, but it's not painful. One more breath out. Inhale a bit slowly back to center, transition to your hands and knees. Curl in, knee forward, take back your legs. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Feeling free to walk the hands a little forward or use variations on the hand position. So that just takes a little ease into the wrists if it's too much when they're right underneath. And now find that uplift in the low belly. Press into the hands, round your back, tuck your chin. Breathe steadily. And then relax your spine back to neutral. Walk back your knees to until you feel a little challenge in plank until you're kind of straight. Activate the pressing of the hands. Feel the shoulders, chest, mm -hmm. and core. Three, four. Five. Tuck under your toes and go back slowly to extended child's pose. Bringing down your head and your heart. Keep your elbows and armpits lifted. Look back at your toes, compassionately reset if there are anybody's crunched. Just trying to awaken the soles of the feet. Pull your tail away from your hands to lengthen your spine. And take one more great big breath into your rib cage. Bring down your elbows and bring your hips up again. Release your toes. Again, walk back your knees until you feel kind of a straight line from your knees to your shoulders and find your forearm plank position. That same active spreading hands into earth, core strength working. Strengthen chest and shoulders. So important to stay strong so we don't collapse into forwardness. One more breath. Ease your navel to the earth and release your legs and your body down. Stretch your arms overhead. Lift your right arm and left leg. Just straight up and hip. Exhale it, bring them down. All the way up with inhale, find your range of motion and lengthen and lift. And exhale all the way down, stillness. Twice more each way. Creating those long lines like those Olympic swimmers. Fingertip to toe tip. Once more on each side, inhale. Right arm, left leg. Reach and release, exhale. Last time, breathing in this process of finding that place where you're reaching and lifting as much as you can. There's the top of the in-breath. The exhale is a controlled coming down and release. Pull your hands down by your chest and hug your elbows into the sides of your body. The hands have a little outward spiral. Pressing up to your knees. Walk in your knees a bit and come to upward facing dog. On the knees, roll the shoulders back. 
tail tuck, table top, and downward facing dog. Feeling free to use the knees down version at any point during practice. A little wiggling, just getting used to the idea, hands and feet, head down, spine long. Find your stillness, find your center. When we breathe up and down the spine with awareness, that's a centering practice. Bend your right knee and straighten it out. Bend your left knee, straighten out. Uplift in the low belly, shift weight towards the hands and back to the feet a few times. Inhale forward, find that pike and exhale back. Open the hands and feet once more forward and back. Then walk your feet towards your hands. Anywhere in this process, pick up your hands off the floor, continue your walk. At the top section of your mat, fold forward, tip your pelvis forward, fold in, release your head down. The backs of your legs might feel a little tight. Let's take two more breaths here. Just let the knees be soft, have loving awareness. Find your balance in your feet, not too much in the heels or the toes. Spread your weight around. One more breath out, compassion and softness. Let the knees bend, begin the it rise up. So the knees bend, extend your spine, catch your waist, and then press your legs straight. Learning to stand with the legs. Bring your hands together and centering on your feet. Finding balance of breath in and out. Samas Ctihi is the standing in evenly in your feet. Samas same. Also samas with breath, same. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Arms by your sides. Take a free breath or two. And now the word namas, not me, to bend. Surya namaskar, inhale, sun reaching. Take up the whole rib cage, not just the front. Exhale, bow to the earth. Okay. Halfway lift, lengthen through the top of your head. Spread your hands, bend your knees, take your right leg back, then your left. Halakasana, you may bring the knees down again. Five breaths, plank pose. A sense of determination. No, it's impermanent. Two, activate by pressing chest, shoulders, core. Four. Aura, I hate it when you watch me do that. I hate it. Bring down your knees and untuck your toes for upward dog. Come on in, slowly rolling the shoulders back. Press the arms straight, gaze down towards your nose. Top of the inhale. Yeah. Exhale, flip feet, hips up, downward facing dog. The upper dog is stimulating. It's a back bend. It stimulates the adrenals. And then we come into the forward fold of downward dog and calm and release. I wasn't. That's disgusting. I don't want to Try release any gripping in your thumbs. Sometimes getting into the position, we use the thumbs a lot. Let them relax I now. Not, I would not want to do that. That's disgusting. One more breath out. Head down. <laughs> Inhale, walk forward. Halfway lift when you're ready. Breathe in. Breathe out slowly. Find your forward fold. So we gently do this again and again. And by the end, our bodies are more awake and warm and open. 
Exhale, bring the arms down into your sides. Flow right into the next one. Next inhale, sweep the arms out and up and together at an upward gaze. Exhale, the eyes transfer towards the navel. As you come into forward folds, you tuck your chin. The eyes head towards the horizon or out in front of you as you do the half lift position. Don't strain the neck, just look forward. Exhale, take the left leg back first, then the right. And this time, flex your spine like cat spine in your plank. It's fine to have your knees down. Just do a round spine. Same pressing action. Core. You just feel a lot of different muscles working when we round the spine. And five. Relax your spine neutral and into downward dog. Take your right leg up and back. Sometimes called three legs, sometimes called one leg. I'm gonna bring my hands out a little bit, just refine, hold for five, just straight up and back. Then Kahneman's pose, that reaching the legs away. Exhale. Step your right foot forward by your right hand and angle down your back heel. Rise up to your standing lunge. Shoulders back and down, arms long. And then turn to the ball of your back foot. Concentrate on balance. And then on the, the bent knee side, I'm gonna take that arm back behind to the opposite leg and the other arm up into the air. So we have a little bit of a lateral as we look over towards the right. Two, three, four, five. Transition back to downward facing dog. You could put an upward dog in if you wanted to. Feel it diffuse. And then the one leg dog, straight up and back with the left leg. The right knee's a little bit bent or maybe more bent. Creating upper body strength with our own body weight. And breathe in, sweep the foot up by your hand and have a moment to angle your back heel, press into both feet, rise up. And a nice upright spine, relaxed on your arms. The knee side, this arm comes behind to touch the opposite leg and the other arm up. So it just brings us into a little bit of a rotation, a little lateral. Two, nice psoas line lengthening. Three, feel that psoas on the back leg. Four, and five. Release out, turn to wide parallel feet. Work into your wide standing forward fold position. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, out slide your hands down your legs. Go slowly, so we hinge forward, your knees might bend. Come out to catch your ankles or your big toes, then bring your head towards the floor and your elbows towards your legs. Again, finding the balance in your feet. So we tend to go back into the heels. Use the balls of your feet as well. Find some equalness there. We're using the arms to lengthen the spine to bring your heads closer to the floor. We've got our low belly nestled up against gravity, these are great poses to learn that Uddiyana Bandha, navel towards the spine. Exhale out. Inhale, slide up your legs as you stand up. Breathe out at the top. Swing your toes out to face the corners of your mat. Let your right knee bend out towards the toes. And pulse, just a little pulse. Three, four, five. 
Press that leg straight and pulse lightly to the other side. One, training the muscles to come in and out of the pose. Four, five. Press the legs straight and bring up your arms to star pose. Balance. Shoulders are down as you reach your arms. Focus on a rib cage lift in the back as well as the front. Four. One more breath. Spread your fingers gently. And exhale, hands to heart center. Walk your feet in. Top of the mat. Pausing, shoulders relax. Right leg back straight, so we're square to the front. Revolving triangle pose, reach up your right arm. The other hand helps guide the pelvis forward. So I'm going to push with my thumb at the back to help tip the pelvis forward for that forward fold. So that's first. And both hands come to the shin, maybe open out into the twist, anywhere in here. So don't overdo. Find a sweet spot in your body. Breathe five times. If you sometimes have some shaking in our standing poses, it's okay. Getting stronger can make the muscles shake. One more breath in. Exhale, release your twist. Breathe in, standing up. Find your upward stance and then change the legs to the other side. Step forward, step back, square. Refine your feet. Be very concentrated on what we're doing. So again, you can use your, your thumb to tip your pelvis forward and guide it into the forward fold, both hands to the front shin. Open out into the twist to any degree. Ground it in the legs and pelvis, moving the twist open from there. Four, one more time. Use your exhale to release the twist. Use your inhalation to stand up and release your shoulders back and down. Step out and let it be. Shift your weight into your right leg. Shift your weight into your left leg. Feel that sensitivity and brilliance of your feet. Back into the right leg and pick up your knee on the other side. So Shiva's pose, floating the knee. Pick up the arms and bring the knee across as you twist your arms to the other side. Let your fingers dance. And if your toes re return to the floor, that's okay. Also can use one hand on the wall. Four, just one more breath. Exhale, center. Use your concentration. Let all else go, but the moment you're in, shift your weight. Right foot, left foot. So lift out of your standing leg, float up your knee. Bring it across your body and float your arms. Twist them the other way. Steadiness of breath and eyes. One more breath. Bring it on down. Release. Open out to your right side on your mat for Uchita Trikonasana. Extended triangle pose, the legs leap between the feet. Float out the arms, inhale. Over and down, slowly exhale. So you can even suspend the breath as you begin. So you have lots and lots of time to come over and down. Sometimes a little angling out of that back heel to find your legs, reach up and down. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, 
and reinforce your core strength on every exhale. Bring your navel in, four, five. Come on up, feel that strength as you rise. Keep your arms reaching as you turn your legs. When you come to an exhale, over and down. Feeling free to refine the back foot position. Lengthen through your neck. Reinforce your core on the exhales. One more breath out. Inhale, your whole body works to come up. Release down your arms, breathe out. Warrior B, we'll keep the hips side, bend out the front knee, make space between your feet to come into that stretched out lunge of warrior B. Sweep your arms front and back and turn your head to the front so we have an actual turn of the head to see that front set of fingertips. Shoulders down. Flip your palms to face up to soften the shoulders. Just be with that quality. Put the palms back down and take one more breath. Exhale. Inhale over to the other side. Straighten your leg, turn your feet, and at some point, switch your eyes. Find your second side and breathe five times. Balance the broadness of the chest and the shoulders and the back. We quiet ourselves even when we're in an effortful position. Find your breath, be determined. Exhale once more. Inhale, straighten, release arms. Samasthiti. This place where we compose ourselves, reinforce your connection with your breathing your subtle core in this present moment. Earth time, weave your fingers, press up towards the sky. Release and come to forward fold. Wherever that is for you. Step back to downward facing dog. Last hold, last five. You might pass through again. Let's see. Three. Exhale. And then coming through to sit down. Bring down your legs. Just transition in your own way. Seated position, legs out in front. Pause a moment. This is our Samasthiti seating down, is Dandasana, staff pose. Bring your hands by your hips, tuck your chin towards your chest. Settle the energy as you breathe. Four. Inhale, lift your chin and reach your toes towards the earth. Eastern stretching pose. Fingers forward and spread. Come back with your hands and bend your elbows, hugging them in. So to start with that heart lift and you may stay with that if you like. Two, three, four. There's a spiraling outward in the hands that stretches and opens across the chest. Two options for picking it up. A little easier is to bring in your feet like a bridge pose upside down or no, that's not right. Um, tabletop, there it is. Upside down tabletop, lift it up. Just try to press your pelvis up. If that's not too challenging, you might take out your legs straight and point your toes. Protect your neck by keeping your chin a little tucked. If you feel good taking your head back, take it on back. 
four, and one more breath. Exhale carefully, bring it on down, and bring your feet together and bring them in carefully. Take the right leg out, fold the knee in on itself, rotate your hip externally. Other side, take out your leg, focus on that nice even fold of the knee and rotate the hip externally. Catch your feet with your hands, sit up tall, breathe in and breathe out, reach your sternum towards the earth. So lead with your heart, listen to your legs, hips, knees, ankles, anywhere where you might decide that's enough. Two. Softening with breath and awareness. Sometimes we can move past where we think we can go. One more time, breathing out. Breathe in, rise up. And take out your legs to a wide position, toes towards the ceiling, perhaps some bending in the knees. Tall spine, breathe in, out and down. Lead with your sternum, your heart center, walk it out down and forward to any degree. Let your head go downward, but just try to reach something towards the floor. Exhale. Walk it in, inhale, come back upright. And let's try that lying down. Bring your legs together. This is a nice way to strengthen your core is to learn the, to roll back slowly, resisting the rolling back and letting your spine round. So reach forward towards your feet with your head and arms and go back. Just try to resist. Let your spine round and your chin tuck and then you can carefully come down to the back of your body. Bring in your feet, pause for a moment, centering. Lift your right foot and then your left. Take up your legs and widen them. Use your hands for support for a moment just to let the legs find a little gravitational opening. Three. Exhale, four. Exhale, five. Bringing the legs together. And here, focus on spine. So you may lift up your legs and widen them. Lift your hips as well. Or you can do it again with your hips down on the ground. Just try to bring your legs more towards you this time. A little playful. Stay centered on your skull if you lift your hips up. Wide legs. Wherever your arms feel supportive in this position. And five. Carefully roll your spine down, bringing your legs together. And place your feet on the floor with your knees bent. Press the feet, lift the hips. Also lift the arms and let them come overhead as you lift up your hips. And exhale, reverse. Refine the feet as needed. Inhale up. Also refine your spine if needed to make room. So my head moves away from my feet as I come up to make Space or those bones. Come on down twice more. That full process the lift, arms up, arms down, and the spine down. 
land all the way. Last time, the feet press, the hips lift, the arms float up. And then reverse it all out. Land. Use your left arm to cradle your head and roll over to the left side of your body. Find your balance for a moment. Stack your legs. Bring a hand to your low belly to remember to tone there. And then taking your right leg straight up into the air, that top leg, active foot. You may just reach towards your big toe if you like or take the back of your leg and then come up onto your bent elbow hand. Anantasana, feel the bottom leg activate inbound. Vishnu's reclining couch posture. Also known as one of the most auspicious poses. Just have your own experience with it. One more exhale. And release those actions back to the sideline, supporting head. This time, bend your top knee, bring your heel towards your hip and catch your ankle or your foot with your hand. Coming to this sideline bow position, half bow. Gently press your pelvis forward. And let your foot press into your hand to create a little opening behind you. It's, it's pretty supported by the earth, but there's work in balance here. One more breath out. And then bring your heel towards your hip this time. Bring it in, stretching the front of your thigh. Two, three, also stretching chest and shoulder. Four, five, wherever you notice it in your body, just make sure it's okay sensation. Release, second side, roll it over, Anantasana, finding your sideline balance first. Eventually coming up on a bent elbow to the hand to hold your skull. Take your top leg up with an active foot and come back and catch the back of your leg. So it's hard not to roll back sometimes. If you roll back, just get yourself back up on your side. Maybe take your toe, breathe five times. Round your bottom leg. Find your knee bends, whatever you need to do. Very much feel like I'm using my center, my subtle core muscles not to roll backwards here. And five, release your head down and your leg. Back to that leg stack, bend the top knee, take your top hand and catch your ankle or foot. And now we rest the foot into the hand to create that bow shape, bringing the pelvis a little forward. Take five. So we want to soften our eyes and our gazing to help the brain relax. Trying to find a non-attached gaze if your eyes are open. If you feel quiet with eyes closed, you can do a little close eye resting. The muscles of vision use a great portion of our brain energy. And we're focused internally here. Fourth breath and five. Finishing with a more restful version where you bring your heel towards your hip. Breathe five more times. Just trying to lengthen across that front surface. Your rectus femoris here coming down the center. Relating to the femur, that big bone in the body. Our longest bone. Breathe out one more time. Release your leg and make your way to seated again. Yogi's choice. 
Here's that optional up dog, down dog. One breath each or not, come through, sit down. And tipping forward from your hips to Paschimottanasana. That's the Western stretch back of the body. Draw your toes towards you. If your knees bend, that's fine. So find that spine out and down. Taking eight breaths. If you need support under your legs, just use your arms and your there. Halfway point, let's come halfway up. Really lengthen forward, lead with your heart. Go back down over your legs, four more breaths. And four. Inhale energy to sit up. Exhale. Bring in your left foot and knee, bend your knee. Reset your pelvis as I just did that little pick up and reset. Just find your foundation for Marichi's pose. Hold on to your knee as you sit tall. And then come around to twist towards that bent knee, hugging it, looking back. Other leg active. Three. Last breath. Exhale. Inhale to center. Cross your foot over to the other side of your leg. And then we're gonna follow the foot with both hands. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me again. So we've got that crossover of the left foot. And then both hands over here on the right side. Elbows bending, hands spread, lean over. If possible, lift your hips off the floor so we can use both hands, both feet, lean forward, lift it up, little grasshopper. Just lift the corners of your mouth, it's all right. And exhale, bring it on down. And give yourself a little shimmy, just let go. Stillness. Second side, Marichi's twist first to so the right knee coming in, sitting tall, hold your knee. Breathe out, let your belly be long as you twist for five. Keep your other leg active, toes towards the ceiling. Include your neck. Breathe into any tension once more. Exhale and breathe in back to center and bring your foot across. Both hands follow the foot. Lean your head over towards your hands. Come to the side of your straight leg and press and lift something. A little bit of finesse. And exhale, come on down carefully. Uncross and give it a little shimmy. Just release. Exhale, stillness. Just stop. And then coming on back down to the earth. That with that resistance, resist, reach forward. Head, hands, legs, all of it slows you down. And then just let yourself roll back when you're ready. Find the back of the body. Bring your hands to your floating ribs, your low front ribs. Feet flat like you're standing, head centered. And just working this breath and core work. This whole body pose where we breathe in, let the ribs expand. Feel that action. Breathe out as if you're weaving together your fingers and that center of your belly down and together. So really trying to ground into the front body. Take four more breaths like that. 
Round on the exhales. Feel that whole center line, Uddiyana Bandha, Mula Bandha, awakening. The Mula is the root, the pelvic floor drawing in and up. Four. And five. Relax, release. Let your body release from that stiffness, that effort, and just take a free breath. Whole rib cage. Just observe the natural grounding quality of the exhale without reinforcing it. Just let it be natural, that in and down energy. And then bring your feet in again to a bridge foundation for monkey pose. So I think this relates to the tail of the monkey being long and why it's named monkey pose. So just have a moment and imagine your tailbone extends a great deal and to center your whole spine for a moment. Just focus on that, finding center and bridge. Then keeping both feet on the floor, arms on the floor, comfortable arms, wherever they feel good. Just check in, palms up or down. Both knees over to the right side, breathe out. Breathe into center. Breathe out to the left side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Continue slow of movement and breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. And back to center. Take your right foot and place it on your left. And then bring both knees over to the left. And up to center. Do that twice more. Just observe the difference, that stacking of the feet. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Uncross, left foot on the right, three times over to the right side, over, exhale, up, inhale. Twice more, repeat. Releasing stiffness with some flowing movement. And inhale to center. Uncross, free breath. One more variation. Why? Give your feet that invitation. Let your legs follow. Perhaps adjust where your arms are if you want to. And let's also, besides thinking of a monkey with a very long tail, a long spine, there's also this element where we, we call it a monkey mind where you have a very busy brain. So let your brain completely find a smooth movement here. Just focus on the breath and body, quieting that chattering mind, both legs to the right. Just keep the feet wide, just move your knees over. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Center. Just find your own flow a few more times each way. Markatasana. Once more each direction. Take your time. Center, stretching your legs out long and your arms out overhead, just relax. Gently lengthening the front body, just countering any 
in a seated position. And let's just guide the right knee into the chest. So there are a lot of these poses that you could do anytime, that you could do just on the carpet or on the floor, on your bed. Make sure your neck is long here, that your forehead's a little higher than your chin. And let's rest open into resting tree, not a fallen tree, just a resting one with that knee out to the side. Branch out your arms, relax. Gently opening the front body. Without disturbing yourself too much, straighten out that leg slowly. All the way out, relax. Bring in the other knee, catch it with your hands, guide it towards your chest, relax. Nice long neck. Five resting tree. Just let the leg release open with a bend in it. Let your arms reach out into branches and relax. Five, exhale, and a gentle return to center with your knees bent for figure four pose, finishing up. Take that right leg up to the air and brighten it. So we activate the foot and leg muscles, turn to the side, bend the knee, and rest upon your other leg, resting open. So here you, you may ease this by bringing your foot further away from you to make the hip work less intense. You may bring it towards you if it is positive for your body. So even a little bit or even more. So take five in a place where you feel some nice therapeutic release along that outer right hip and leg. One more so deep breath. Foot returning to the earth, breathe out if it's lifted. And carefully release your leg and bring it down. Second side, up and brighten. Rotate to the side from the hip and bend the knee. Keep it bright as you bring your ankle above your knee and rest open. That knee falling away, whatever degree it will do that. Options, further away, closer in. What does this side of your body need? Meet it where it is. Keep your neck long and breathe five times. Just let your hands gently support your work. Last time, slow breath, nice sense of finishing. Let it go slowly, just like you came in with mindfulness. And let the hips relax, open completely. Bring your hands there and just encourage that rolling open and softening all the way up to the feet, rounding the legs. And attending to your upper body, making sure you're centered. You might push into your elbows to bring your shoulder blades, nestling them underneath you more comfortably. Have your neck long. And relax shoulders to fingers. Next time your breath releases, open your mouth and let it gush out.
we let the breath find its own natural path here. If your mind has a tendency to go elsewhere, continue to use the tool of the breath. To stay right in your body as you hold stillness. Letting that stillness deepen. If at any point you want to swallow to just clear the energy in your throat. Check in with your jaw and ask it to relax. Check in with your heart and next ask it to relax. Present with the power of stillness. Sasi Prajapyaha Paripala Yajam Yayina Margina Mai Maishaha Go Brahmin Ebyaha Juba Masturi Jam Loka is Namasta Sukino Bantu Shanti 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 An energy of sharing any benefits generated by your practice with all. Observing your next inhalation. Follow it in a little bit of movement, a little bit of releasing your stillness. Follow your exhalation back into stillness. Just stop wherever you are, or just find a place to rest. Inhale, shift to one side of the body or the other. Exhale, relax. Use a slow inhale to become upright once again. And then exhale to land into your seated pose. We have this great capacity for breath that we don't always use. Stretch out your arms, tuck your chin. Breathe in very slowly. A little bit at a time. Just feeling that energy of inhale. And exhale. Don't let it all go at once. Go slowly with the exhale. A little bit at a time. One more time. Slow as you can. Breathing in. Breathing out. Put your hands into your heart and just give yourself a moment to be grateful.
Thank yourself for showing up. And we hope that the time spent gives you a, a great return. Your body, your heart, your mind. It's of inner peace and strength. Outer peace and strength. Thank you so much for practicing this morning. Let me know if you have any questions, that little grasshopper, monkey pose, and any requests for Friday. Hi, Nancy, good to see you. Hey.